Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you guys are ready for today's um, video because it's gonna be very very fun. We're gonna be reviewing Sanrio Flower Kujis. I know these are very popular right now, so I went ahead and bought the full set of the figures from eBay. And here's a little letter from our seller. She was so sweet and she actually gifted us a little lunch bag um, cloth. It's really really cute. Here's what it looks like when you open it up. It's really really cute because it has all the different characters and they are writing on different things. And here's my Melody. She looks really cute. Tuxedo Sam is inside this little cup thing. And Cinema Roll, a little twin stars, Pom Pom Purin, Hello Kitty, and here's um, Pachaco. And of course, Kuromi. She's sitting on top of a cupcake, so that's really cute. So thank you to our seller for providing us with a good deal with the Kujis, but also gifting us with this really, really cute lunchbox uh, cloth. So thank you. And I'm going to make sure to put her information down below so that you guys can take a look at her shop on eBay. And here's the little pouches that I was able to get myself with the Kujis I, I played in the States. Um, this is a Tuxedo Sam one, and these all have numbers behind so you know exactly what you're getting when you um, play the Kuji. So here's Tuxedo Sam. I really like the theme of this Kuji because it's flowers, so it's very springy and the characters all have different flowers. Um, so I thought that was really cute. This zip bag is a little small, so I would say that if you only got, you know, the, these zip bags, you will probably be disappointed with the Kuji, but luckily I didn't get too many of them when I played. And here's my Melody one. Uh, she has roses on her head, and also in the back they all have different fonts for different characters, so that's awesome as well. And here's a really cute Pom Pom Purin pouch. Um, I'm not sure what those flowers are, but he looks really cute in this pouch as well. And here's Pachaco, looking really cute with the chick on top of the head. So, all these pouches are cute, but I wish they were a little bigger so it's a little more practical, but oh well, right? So we're gonna start taking a look at the figures now. But I do want to say that this um, Kuji set is amazing and it does have different items um, inside the Kuji other than the figures. They have cutlery set, they have plushies, there's a lot of options that you can get within the same you know, flower Kuji. So I strongly suggest you guys to check out the full list if you like these kind of stuff. Also, we won't be opening all of these figures, but I did buy a full set so that I can show you guys in person what the figures look like. But I mean, we're gonna open most of these so you guys will get to see what they look like, you know, outside the box. Also, if you guys haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe so that I can bring you guys more contents like this. Um, it really helps out a lot when you guys like and subscribe my channel. All right, enough talking. Let's start taking a look at Hello Kitty because she's the first one on the list. She looks really, really cute. She's holding on to a bouquet of roses and she's wearing a lot of them too. These figures are not ceramic, um, even though I thought it was, but they have a lot of details. Um, so even though they're plastic material, it seems like it's um, you know a bit of a better quality than normal Kuji figures. The next up is my Melody. She looks so cute. She also has roses. Um, so I'm gonna actually open this one because I actually quite like Melody. So all these do come in blister packaging because they are figures and you don't want to damage them um, during shipping and stuff like that. So here's my Melody. She's wearing lots of flowers. She even has some flowers around her ears, which is really, really cute. And the roses are kind of like a crown, so that's cute as well. She's holding onto a bouquet of flower. So if you're a person who likes Samri or flowers, you will probably really love this set. And all these um, figures come with holes on the bottom so that they can plop onto the stand they come with. Next up 
Next one is gonna be Kuromi, which is my favorite. You guys don't understand how difficult it was to just spy Kuromi because I did play this Kuji and got some figures already, but I just could not get Kuromi for my life. So I tried to look on eBay, but it was difficult to get a good pricing on Kuromi, just Kuromi. Um, other than you know buying the whole set so which is what I did anyway so that I got, I can show you guys different options for the figures but you guys I'm so happy that I got this full set because now I have Kromi she looks amazing I really like the flowers all over you know her ears and stuff it's so cute even the tips of her ear has little flowers and the skull is swinking just everything in terms of detail is awesome and the Kuromi is also wearing you know purple hood which is something that I personally really like so I thought that Kuromi figure definitely was up there in the you know favorites and she has two holes for the um, stand super cute so that was Kuromi Alright, so the next one is supposed to be a little twin stars, but I actually gifted that to my dear friend Josie because it's her birthday and we actually played the Kuji together and she could not get a little twin star for her life. So sometimes you just got to do it and buy the full set, you know, just gift the two friends and yourself. So here's a picture that my friend sent us so that we can take a look. It's still very cute. She really loved this figure, so I'm happy that she finally got it. Alright, next one up is Kogimian. She looks super adorable inside a little flower basket. She's also holding onto one near her mouth. And the details are really awesome for this one. Um, there's a lot of flower details, and if, I don't know if you guys can see, but there's a bunch of flowers inside the basket as well. So it kind of looks like she's sitting on top of a mountain of flowers. And I personally really like this shrimp guy with the little flower on top of his head. So even though I don't really love Kogimian uh, per se usually, this figure was amazing. And next one up is Wish Me Mel. She's a really cute bunny. Um, I really like that she's standing and kind of like pointing to herself. <laughs> and I really like the pattern part of her ear. I don't really know too much about Wish Me Mel, but her tail looks so adorable. It's kind of like a little scoop of ice cream because it has different colors. Um, so that looks really cute with the flower details. So yeah, that was Wish Me Mel. Next one up is Tuxedo Sam. And actually my husband requested this one. Uh, he wanted to keep this one because he's holding on to ice cream and he's adorable. And here's Tuxedo Sam. He looks so cute. He's holding on to those um, Hawaiian flowers. I don't know the name, but if you know, make sure to comment down below. Give me some flower knowledge here. Um, I really like the little ice cream cone that he's holding as well. He kind of reminds me of our little big plushie that we have on top of the couch. So super adorable. And he does have a little stand as well, but he is pretty flat, so he'll probably stand pretty well without the stand. Alright, next one up is the cinema roll. And I really debated if I wanted to keep this one, but cinema roll is probably one of my least favorite characters. So sorry you guys, but here's cinema roll close up. Um, he has lots of daisies, what it looks like, um, around the tree stump, and he's also wearing some on the head. It's super cute, um, very colorful as well. And the details are awesome with his tail and, and everything. It was just difficult to say no, but I had to because I have too many figures and plushies at home, okay? Next one up is Pom Pom Purin. This one is probably my next favorite after Kuromi. He looks really, really cute. Oh, I love him so much. And I feel like ever since I started watching more Korean YouTubers with unboxing, you know, Sanrio stuff, I really grown to like Pom Pom Purin. So that's trouble for me because that's one thing that I need to collect more of. 
but he looks really cute with a lot of flowers he has a bunch of flower and a butterfly on top of his hat so that's so cute and he also has a stand as well um, which kind of didn't go in well but <laughs> you get the idea All right, last but not least, we have Pochaco here. He looks so cute. I am gonna definitely keep this one because you see that chick? It looks so cute on top of his head. Um, so let's go ahead and open this one. Oh my god, he's so cute. He has his little leg lifted up, holding onto a bouquet of pansies, I think. So cute. And I really, really love the little chick sitting on top of his head. It looks like it's just, you know, chilling there, so... He also has a little paw print on his shirt. But, oh my god, this chick is just to die for. And I really like the little um, tail detail that he normally has. Um, so I'm really glad that they added that on to the figure. And he's one of those figures that don't stand well without the stand. So I would definitely make sure that you don't lose that bottom piece. So yeah, that was Pachaco. Alright guys, that's it for the video today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video exploring different figures. Let me know in the comments down below which one is your favorite. And I'll see you guys really really soon. Bye bye! <laughs>